I want to mix it up. So you, take you off. Lunette is the Nimbus one. Uh, do you have a health pet? You don't. Oh. So actually, like... Err... Err... Damn it, past me making good decisions that I'm regretting now. No, I'm not undressing you. You've already been undressed. There's nothing I really want to take it off of that has it, so I guess I'll just live. I wanted, um, defense health on the Nimbus, so I would have to do any ascension. I can't remember how much ascension I want on the Nimbus, but I'll probably just go, like, 50. Because I don't think they need a ton, but they need a bit. Does anyone know, like, how much ascension defense health ascension do you do? This is Luna, right? Yeah. Max those and then go full crit. So let's put you in the deck now. What do we got? Full power and overcharge. Don't want either. And not a drop. Not a single drop. Come on, that was a struggle. I think I deserve one drop, right? So transfer crit damage and defense rate. I think I want um, range instead. Yeah, so let's do... Uh, instead of that... Put a range on it. Let's take you out. Still waiting on that chat. Come on. How much defense health? Someone's gotta know. Does anyone use Nimbus? Chris so big. It's gonna do like nothing until I put some ascension into defense power, so let me do just that to start off, so it's not like in the negative. Actually, I guess it didn't really need it that much. I had the uh, relic. Ah, screw it. Pet and health pylon. I don't think health pylon would affect them, would it? Maybe. I don't have the pet though, so I'm just gonna do this. I basically just got four times their health, so. Let's count that as fine. Um, so for this lane... These things have a ton of range, right? But do they have enough range that I only need one tree, is the question. this for now. Probably gonna move stuff around anyways, but for now. Not quite enough to reach over there how I want it to. If I do this, but what if I just do... Tree here. I'm sure, I don't get like, I don't get the nice health pylon thing going, but... It's not the end of the world. And then... Uh, let's go here, because I think I can put slime pits like on here. Right, I can't do this because I need slime pits up in these things too, so... Let's do these. Um, forgot completely about the slime pits I wanted to use. So 
It's like, let's do one tree and have the Nimbuses all branch off of it. Nope. I'm a dumb. Uh, so this lane, let me, maybe I'll try the same thing again. Uh, you're the Nimbus one, so let me actually put Bay there, because that's what I'm used to. The Nimbus here. Okay. Ugh. Inch it. Inch it. This lane up here. And then one over here. And then I'll have... How much? 700 left for Nimbuses? So, these two lanes. Uh, that's the wrong builder. Oh, right. It's not even these two lanes, because that, so screw that. Honestly, I'm, I think I just want to leave it here. Your puns are great. Yeah. They're pretty good, dude. So, one, two... Three. And one for the middle. Alright, so this does this lane. Only has, like, none sharing, but one prior, like, one focus on it, one focused, and then a bunch of sharing in the middle. The focus Nimbus, like, might be a lot more important. At 50, then I'm gonna just use the rest of the DU. <coughs> excuse me, use the rest of the DU on a Skyguard back here. As, like, a safety net. Uh. Not there, though. I don't want to attack in the Kobolds. So, on the off chance any flyer, like, comes in. It's got it. The flyers from the front, like, beetles and wyverns go down, but I've seen wyverns also just fly across the top and not care about this or the lower objective. I think that's what they do. Made too many macaroons. There's no such thing. That's too many, right? Why am I doing a full deck of heroes? I couldn't tell ya. That's how I played um, in C5 after a while, just because I could. Right, he's the spice of DPS, isn't it? So I think we're good to go. I guess those are fine. I feel like, I don't know. Not a B pun. Mm. You know, <laughs> you're walking a fine line there, bud. So these are hitting rain damage. 
Without even crits. At 0.25, these are doing over... These are doing just under a mil DPS, right? Because it's 4 times 217. So without crits, they're like a mil. With crits... It's another like 400k on average per hit. They're doing... 600k per hit times 4... 2.4 mil DPS? Is that what I'm seeing there? Is that right? Did I math that right? Come on, let's math together. 1, 2, 1, oh, Times 0. 0.3... 363. Plus 217. That over 0. 0.25. 2.3 mil. That was the last pun of the day. Wait. That was the last pun for like every, don't worry. For the day. I'm worried about their HP. Um, I don't know if it's enough without a pet. But I did only ascension their HP for this patch. Just wish I had remembered. But let's watch how they go down. If they go down. Not a lot. Man, that over damage though. Holy frick. Yeah, so I think it was a good idea pulling that back, because I think it does prioritize like things coming in closer to the node. I need to be slapping things. What am I doing? Hearing those kobolds go and not seeing them made me think I was about to lose there. Is that what happened last wave too? The kobolds coming in? That killed the wall? It must be. Another lack of like any kind of AoE. And it's just slimes there that are supposed to catch. Whatever that kobold was in the middle going in, I am terrified right now. This does not seem like a good build. On my hero, uh, I'd, I'd have to go look at it. It's all Starfall and Corruption maintaining. Hi, hey, what up? Oh, the problem with this is like, Nimbuses don't get anything from upgrades really, so I'm gonna have to be doing just slimes. With every, wait. With every buff you could think of, or Shadow was critting for 16 mil. Oh god, this lane almost went down. Woo! So, on the weapon, I've got Haunting and Raven Host, Celestial Attunement, so more stars and starfall damage. Uh, and Celestial Embrace, or Corruption's Embrace. Um, Bulwark, Corruption's Harmony is important. Reduces Corruption form Celestial Power Drain by minus three per tick, or like for a second or whatever. That's really good. Uh, crit Strikes and Beacon of the Storm, because Beacon helps uh, replenish your stars faster when it hits. And then HP Regen and Speed Boost, because I don't, I'm playing in Corrupt form, I don't have my uh, Shrooms to heal me all the time. So it's just a little bit of nice uh, regen there. Yeah, I put the regen on because I didn't have anything else I cared about in the slot. The sword again? Sure. Haunting and Raven host. Because as an AP, like as a corruption maintaining dryad, I want to be slapping things. As an AP dryad that also wants to stay in corruption form, I'm going to be slapping things. So might as well have uh, things that scale off my slaps. And those are both ability power scaling. Yeah, the HP on these things is fine. I'm gonna buff the walls all up though, they're like 7 8 mil status. Slimes, I need the slimes to be like 
able to stop a Cobalt running in, I guess, is the big thing right now. This is a dangerous combination the more I think about it. Is it like better for melee than ranged? I don't know. Honestly, like, other than this specific Dryad, I haven't really used it. So I couldn't tell you uh, pros and cons and all that. Let's do this guy, because he's far away. And this other guy. I want to upgrade this to the check, but I know it's going to be bad. I know it's going to get, like, next to nothing. These slime pits are doing... Like, that almost did as much as the freaking Nimbus. Ugh. Oh yeah, that guy. There we go. Oh, this is gonna be really rough. I thought it was going great, and then it stopped going great with the Kobolds. So maybe that's what I want to be searching out for. Kobolds on the map. I don't even have to hit these things, and yeah, Beacon's like, keeping my thing going, all my ranged attacks. So I'm not, like, losing star power at all. Really. Unless I, you know, cast an ability. Rotation also, ouch, get me out of there, it hurts, everything hurts a lot. Don't die! Whew! Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, the more uh, DU it costs, the worse they scale. By a significant amount. Like, traps will, like, get their base DPS added onto it each time they upgrade. So they're really, really good upgrades. But yeah, stuff like Nimbus... Volcano, Obelisk, even things that are at like, like Sky Guards don't even scale that great with upgrades. Which Relic C7 has max stat? What do, what do you mean? Like, do I have any max stat or what's the max stat of a C6 Relic? In which case, I don't know. Secondaries of like 6300 or something or 6100? Um, unupgraded. Purple is 6125. Yeah, 6366. We got a Tuscar and a Quibbly. Really, I'm just going to keep doing the uh, slimes. Remote lanes, you get it. Uh, this lane, because everything's terrible in this lane. And then the boss lane here, where it doesn't have double slimes. Okay. Um, so many kobolds. Dying to kobolds is kind of dumb. What happens to me? It knocks them out so fast, though. But, like, not fast enough. Ah, oh, I 
thought I was gonna dodge that shot. Everything hits so hard. You... Ah, please. That landed in the tree? It did land in the tree. No dying! Please, live. Live for me. Woo! There's something like stuck on the back wall there and I'm almost dead for it. Can the slimes not hit there? What the heck? That's really bad. Oh, this is Chaos Seven. Huh. Slimes and Nimbus weren't hitting that thing? Like, even the Nimbus wasn't targeting it? What the heck? Yo. So it's not just bees, then, that might have targeting issues on Berserks. And I noticed that a while ago. But maybe it's all these minion-type uh, defenses? In which case... I don't know. I mean, if I had the Slime Pit on the wall, maybe it would have been solved, but... That's a band-aid fix to what could potentially be a pretty big problem. Whew. I don't know if they've ever seriously made a statement about what chaos they'd end at. I could be wrong though. Okay, this and this, for sure. You. So we got a roller coming in and some sort of skelly boss. Ugh. Please be safe. Chaos 100. Maybe. I remember them. I, didn't they say something like we've got enough shards playing up to Chaos 11? And they said like a month ago. I don't know if that means anything though. Lower the better in your opinion. I'd be okay if they stopped at 10. 10 seems like a good number. And then we got stuff like survival onslaught and incursions back in the game. Yeah, so like, what's going on here? More on the slime pit. God, slime pits are so good. Challenge ones would be great. Yeah, man, just more incursions that maybe line up more with like the challenge modes from D2, and they wouldn't have to make new like a new list for it. It could just be different how they expand incursions. They get some funky things going on, even funkier. Yo, we're like the same person. Okay. Where's the hexes? They're in that lane. Um, it could be a big issue. Flying sieges. You monster. Oh, give me my star power back. That's four of them down. Now. So I should only get two more hex throwers. So I was able to, like, if I didn't cast anything, I was able to perfectly maintain. It seemed even at range. But I don't think I'm able to gain. Or almost perfectly maintain. 
It looks like I have that jerk stuck up here again. Just run across the slime pits. Oh, did you really just poof? Get him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I really do like DPS try. <laughs> you think eventually the, the last chaos should spawn Betsy's? Hey, maybe we'll get a uh, Wyvern variant that is more Betsy-like. Siege is back there trap destroying power for some maps. Yeah. Uh, an incursion based on like the old uh, sea driller would be cool. Looks like at your point, Dryad is perfectly viable. Man, at my point, this is still a really rough go. Uh, from corruption, yeah, they get a slow from oiling. So, what is the best thing to spend med medals on? No, no, ignore pets. Ignore heroes a little bit. Just upgrades, Duke. Work on progression. Like, you know, upgrading gear and stuff. Best way to upgrade gear is with Defender Medals. Currently. Get a dragon tower that's actually just the old uh, flame burst. It would work. Thematically. Alright, so Moab. Noab? Moab? Noab? Hex is in this lane. In the back. There's two in the back. That lane's probably fine. This one, it depends. If they walk the corner, I think they're going down. Moab, I do have a Moab, okay. Still waiting for Cat Hero, I feel ya. Not offering new maps. At least half the maps are different, but yeah, I really do wish Nimbus and Sewers are rotated up. If they do whichever, if they do an update with new Chaos tiers, which they said like they're more focused on like other things right now than putting on the next chaos tier, like I can't remember specifically. Polishing, whatever. Um but once they do like another set of chaoses, the max one please don't have Nimbus and Cirrus. I mean even the other two ones, um Crumble Bulwark and what's the other map? Whatever it is. Or different ones, please. Honestly, like, I think I just want stronger walls. I'll just go off and live my life. Gates of Dragonfall, Chaos 10. That's. Gates of Dragonfall is actually, like, a really bad, uh. Like, it's not a DU uh, efficient map at all. You get 200 per lane. 3 lanes, 600 DU. That's mean, dude. That's mean. All right, what are the bosses? This um, this Moab, I think I'm gonna have to be there and deal with myself. Skelly, Roller, Skelly. So, okay, he's got two slime pits to stand on. You've got one. I don't need to upgrade. I don't need to repair these things at all. Um, your wall is tier three. Your tree is tier giant. You can't go down. I, 
think this is what I do. I think this is what I do. I don't know, maybe we'll see the sky guy going down or something. You love the smaller maps? Small maps are fine. I hate short lanes. And that's sometimes the same thing. But I wouldn't necessarily call gates a small map, so maybe that's a different a difference in definition there. Uh Alright. Fuck my shit up. Honestly, like Yeah, let's just get rid of them. More than enough. I'll drop that there for the dot. Ow. I hear Hexthor is doing the thing. There's a lot of things coming in the middle. Even if the impact doesn't hit, like just getting the AoE down from these things is really good. Please get off me, I need to DPS. Most of the spawns are at the doors now. Yeah, that... Easy. Whew. Where'd my audio go? Damn. I was spending 80% of the DU on one kill box. It's fun, actually, yeah. Bringing shit together and making just a big old kill box. That's kind of why, like, not in this build, but I do like turtling this map just so I can make this area into a kill box. Did that in C5 all the time? Now I do it because I think it's slightly more DU efficient. <laughs> Another blue chest too. Trendy, what did I do, dude? What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> ah. Frosty bind and twice as bright. No thank you. No thank you. Man. Not getting any uh, big drops either. These are max stats, right? Yeah. And none of these dudes have low armor. Ah, uh, you kind of have low armor. Is that because you weren't in the deck, though? Is your bulwark not counting? No, your bulwark's counting. You're just bad. Oh, your boots are trash. Like, actual trash. I thought I replaced the boots at some point, though. What the hell? Warrior. No, I have no warrior. That's that's probably why. You have nothing. Ah, oh, there's nothing with health that I want. Um, rogue? I am not getting shoes. What the hell? <laughs> My drops. I'm shoeless. I have to get like ability power probably if I want to get any health on them. Jeez. All right though. Hey, it worked. We won. Nice. 